Come on, bud. Laura Layla. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Um, this video, I'm, it's gonna, I'm kind of responding to you, uh, the video that you did, where really I'm responding to one part that you mentioned when you talked about how people work in an environment, they're uh, working in mental health, and uh, they just kind of shell up. Um, they become they become something other than who they are, and then they escape from that person uh, after they get away from their work. Um, except for the people that have to deal with them on a regular basis, can't escape from them. Um, and I've I encountered that myself. I've heard people talk about that, like people that have really unpleasant jobs. Um, one of my friends uh, worked in a hospital, and he said that uh, eventually you stop treating the human body like a human body and treat it like a uh, just a tool something that you're working with and and then I also talked about some people that had some pretty horrific jobs some jobs that would really tug at your sympathy and they said I've never heard so much um, kind of off-colored humor um, you know disrespectful stuff uh, was very common to kind of like dehumanize what was happening, you know, distance yourself from it. To like say that, you know, it's kind of like seeing a car accident and then making a joke about uh, how people need to, you know, put their cell phone down and drive or something. Because what you really don't want to think about is the nightmarish uh, experience of being in a car accident or if anyone just lost their life and do they have family or somebody waiting for them right now in a restaurant and you know they don't want to they don't want to look at it in a way that just fills up their heart full of whatever or their mind full of whatever so they uh, they detach themselves so the uh, the I was gonna say the work I do but the work I do essentially is I work with the public and I think that I was shelling up for the longest time because um, I was just I was just a newborn babe when I first started working in the public because all my adult life I'd had uh, kind of off off to the side jobs um, and then just not too long ago I started I was right in the middle of things and dealing with thousands of people on a regular basis. And I see everything that a human being could get up to, um, from violence to uh, to to love. And uh, it's almost like it's almost too much. It's like I want to cover up my ears, or cover up my heart, or my mind, and just go uh, la 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 la. <laughs> Um, and not hear it, not feel it, not think about it. Um, I start feeling like a disrespectful barrier uh, go up between me and them, you know, essentially us. Um, kind of like what Fred was talking about, like he would give a speech and people drop a pencil. Then once he was just giving a speech and he dropped a pencil and he's just like, oh, it's not like... It's every once in a while we all drop a pencil, <laughs> you know? And like every once in a while uh, we all, you know, lose our temper or um, we all do this, that, or the other thing. And then how, how, if you're exposed to a lot of it, do you become that person that uh, just they're, they're the way, who the person they are in the thick of things is the same person who they are in their garden. And at one point in time, someone said that about me. Um, well, one person said, well, you're not who you are at work. And then a person I worked with says, well, yeah, Earl's, the Earl you are hanging out with now is the Earl at work. That's, his personality doesn't change, except my personality started to change. Um, I think it still is. Um, because I think I have my hands over my ears and around my heart and around my brain. And I think I'm saying la 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 um, to keep it from being too much. And so I need to get back to 
being more me wherever I'm at. Oh. <laughs> and it's hard. Like, I can't imagine how those people working in that uh, uh, mental health institution, how, the, how you could, if you got to that, where you're almost dehumanized or dehumanizing, um, how would you go back? <laughs>